वेलकम टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ लीन सिक्स सिग्मा हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम मोहित शर्मा यूर मेंटर एंड कोच ऑन लीन सिक्स सिग्मा इश्यूज एंड प्रॉब्लम्स टूडेज वीडियो इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद माय लास्ट वीडियो माय लास्ट वीडियो वाज ऑन कॉन्टिन्यूस डेटा कंट्रोल चार्ट इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डिस्क्रीट डेटा कंट्रोल चार्ट बट बिफोर वी बिगेन लेट्स क्विकली रिवाइज वॉट इज अ कंट्रोल चार्ट it is a graph that is used to study how your process changes over time and in a control chart we always have a center line for the average the upper line for the upper control limit and there is a lower line which is represented as lower control limit so we can call it a time series plot with control limits our process data point should lie between these two control limits to say that the process is in statistical control these control limits are plus minus three standard deviations from the center line so this is the diagram of a control chart this line is called the average line which is green line in the center the upper line is called upper control limit like i already mentioned it is called ucl and the lower line is called lcl all these upper control limits and lower control limits are calculated automatically in minitab so in today's video we are going to talk about control charts when data is discrete let us first understand the difference between defects and defectives any product or service which is not meeting customer requirement is a defect and there are n number of defects that a unit can have and when the unit have a defect it becomes a defective unit so some customers are measuring us on defects and some customers are measuring us on defective units we also need to understand what is the difference between constant lot size and variable lot size if the team is processing 100 transactions and the customer wants us to monitor 5% of the whatever is being processed each day it becomes variable lot size for example today 100 transactions 5% of 100 will be 5 transactions that we have to monitor next day team process 200 transactions so 5% of that will be 10 so our sample size varies every day and the constant lot size is if the customer says whatever the team is processing we will only check 5 transactions each day so today team has processed 100 the sample size was 5 tomorrow team has processed 110 the sample size will remain 5 so that is constant lot size if the customer is monitoring us on defects and there is a constant lot size we will create c chart if the customer is monitoring us on defectives and there is a constant lot size we will be using np chart defects and variable lot size u chart defectives and variable lot size it's p chart so let's go to mini tab and see how these charts are created so friends i have four worksheets here in each of these worksheets i have data for each of these charts how a p chart is created so for that we need defective units and sample size will be variable so you can see here in column c1 i have data for defective units and sample size is varying at each of these rows in the first day so for example 223 cases were monitored second day 225 third day 265 likewise to create a p chart stat control chart attribute charts and p chart under variables we will enter defective units under subgroup size we will enter column c2 which is sample size and we will click okay so this is the kind of chart that is being created all these data points should lie between the control limits that is when we can say the process is in statistical control the control line is not a straight line because the sample size is varying so every data point has a different control points because of the varying sample size move on to worksheet 2 so when i have to measure defects and my sample size is varying like in this case the defects are 14 and sample size is 223 in the first instance in the second instance it is 12 and 287 so sample size is varying i will use u chart stat control charts 
attribute charts and u chart under variable i will enter defect under subgroup size i will enter sample size click okay so in this chart also you can see the control limits are varying because of the varying sample size and all these data points are within the control limit so it indicates that the process is in statistical control the worksheet 3 is for np chart here i have only defectives so for example there is a constant lot size which is 250 transactions and we have got these defective units every day from those 250 transactions monitored each day so how np chart is created stat control charts attribute charts np chart under variables enter defectives under subgroup size you will enter 250 as a number now you can see the control lines are straight lines because it is a constant lot size so that is why these control lines are straight lines and all these data points are within control limit the process is in statistical control moving on to worksheet 4 here we have number of defects which are listed here for example these defects are identified from 375 transactions monitored every day or units inspected every day so path to create a c chart is stat control chart attribute charts and c chart under variable we will enter defects and we will click ok all these data points are not in the control limit there is one point which is going beyond control limit which is sample number 8 whose count was 87 so system is suggesting that so there is a process failure at this particular step so process is going out of control on sample number 8 so team needs to do investigation and figure out why this happened if this is one of the cases or causes team will fix that cause or team will identify and block that particular failure mode and then they will move on so friends i hope you understood how a control chart is created for discrete data i hope you like this video and if you really like this video please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends i will see you in my next upcoming video till then take care bye bye friends you can buy my authored books on amazon so the first book is eight steps to problem solving so this book talks about all the concepts of six sigma and the second book is continuous improvement the lean way it talks about the lean concepts and tools if you want to buy these books you can go to the online platforms these soft copies are also available it is available worldwide so you can buy them on amazon.com or amazon.co.in